Hello, everybody. Here it is. Here it is. The Ram TrueFlex that holds the quarter inch. I think it's the first micro motor that holds the quarter inch burr. You'll see it up top there. Um, this is, for all you that don't know, this is the unit that I, I'm having a chip in giveaway where I'm donating some carvings and some other people are donating some things. We'll talk about that later in the video today. But this is what you guys bought me. So thank you very much. I did order an extra hand piece. That's the slim that holds the 3 32nd bits. They see just carved Rob uh, Ben's studio on the lake using. So we need to talk about this. This unit, this micro motor, motor unit, I haven't used it that much, but I've used it. I did once have a RAM before, and um, it was, these are all brushless. The one that I had before was not brushless. I think this might be it right here. I sold it to Larry Dibbs because, well, it stalled, like, because they have a protection thing in the hand pieces where if you put too much pressure, it will stall and it will reset to make sure you don't fry the motors in these. But I'll tell you right now, I have not had this problem with these hand pieces. The quarter inch one, it kind of slows down a bit, but speeds up. But we'll talk about that more later. So I guess what we need to do is we can look at this extra flyer they sent me i did contact ram i talked to them they did give me a price break on this on all these things here but i think it cost me pretty well a thousand dollars to get it here all said and done because i had to pay uh border fees and taxes and stuff like that so um you guys you know you don't have to get so here's the base price for the unit itself like 615 dollars with the hand piece with the true flex i believe i'm not going to read all of this but you guys can get cheaper rams too like they got ones here for like um where uh ben's studio on the lake i think he has this ice cube here and what's that that's 185 dollars american and it holds like um what does it hold here the one eighth burt chucks or a 332 second chucks right so that's a good starter one or this one um, is it, this one kind of looks like the blue one that I had the micro motor the other one master carver and this one's $195 too for this one so you guys don't think that you have to go out and spend huge money to get yourself a micro motor they're so much quieter and gentle to hold in your hands let's see if this one's hooked up oh no I got this um I think this one's going right now this is the quarter inch so let's hit the foot. It comes with a speed control foot pedal too. No, okay, so what's going on here? Um, let's see if I can get this going. I, I'm just getting used to all this stuff. So you want it at 30,000 RPMs forward. This one hooked up. Okay, I'll figure it out and get it going. So here's an example. Like I, I didn't have it playing. You got So this one runs at 30,000 RPMs with the quarter inch burr on here. The other ones can run up to 50,000 RPMs. And like I said, these are brushless. Um, let me show, let me get my Dremel handpiece out. I should really have my camera on my overhead to show you guys this, but there's the Dremel handpiece compared to those. So they're not too big. You know, and this is the slim one. So yeah, they, they got three different size, three different size. I can, I'm not good at tech stuff, but this one's the slim one. So it's smaller. So I'll be able to use this one for detail carving. I'll be able to use this one for normal carving and the quarter inch one I'll be able to use to bulk out some wood. Not bulk, I'm not talking bulk out like the Fordham, like with the extreme, the, the extreme burrs on here. I'm never going to put extreme burr on this, this carver. I think it will just be too hard on the machine. I'll just use the silver ones or the gold ones. And I got the Fordhams, I got the die grinders. If I want to bolt and chainsaws, if I want to bulk out lots of wood, I'll use those tools. This will be for like cleaning up the outside of this bark when I use it. Sometimes if I got to make some deeper cuts, I'll use it, but I won't be running it at 30,000 RPMs. That's, a, that's as well too. So let's see here. Okay. So let's turn up the speed a bit. You see how quiet it is? They're just so quiet. This foot control works. Running slow. You can watch the speed on the back. Okay, now let's crank it up to 30. I think I'd probably be happy running it around 20, 21, 22. Also, with this hand piece, let me put the camera in the overhead before I, before I jump ahead too fast. 
So this bigger one that holds the quarter inch uh, bit, it does come with different size collets. So here's a 1 8 collet and a 3 32nd collet too. So that comes with that. I think it comes with it. I don't know if you have to order it extra. Um, these normal ones, the, why these are so awesome, well, they're quiet and they they run so fast and they're smooth and they're light to hold in your hands. It's like floating in clouds compared to using the Dremel. Let's see here. Like the Fordham's like a friggin' a big, huge ferry that can take a big, huge barter barge boat that carries the containers across the world. That's what the Fordham's like. The Dremel's like a tugboat. Then this would be like a speedboat. Okay. So these ones, normally the burrs just slide out. You change your burr, you put your new burr in, you lock it up. That's, that's just that easy. Let's do it again. So you just hold your hand on the back handle here, spin it out, click it, pop it out, pull it out like a bit, a little bit like the Dremel then put it back in and you're good to go. This one I thought did the same thing too, but it does not, okay? This is kind of like, you see you got these keys here, the wrenches, this one you have to, I was a little bit disappointed. You put this key in here, right? And you lock it and then, but I didn't do my research. And then you undo it that way, like this with two wrenches. Then you change your burr, then you put a new burr in there and then you tighten it up. But it's okay. It makes sense to me why they don't have that on this because you're running a quarter inch burr in here. Do you know what I mean? So, and another thing too about this point, about it not switching out really quick. When I use my Fordham, I always have the same burr in there. I never really change it that often. And this, I'm not trying to sell anything for RAM or anything like that. Like I said, they're aware of me now. They gave me a deal. We might work in the future together. But I never, I basically always have in my Fordham, actually let me pull up the handpiece here, I got the industrial flex shaft, I always have the extreme flame burr in here. So there's the size differences. I always have, I never change it out. If I'm going to do any bolt carving, I take it outside, use it with my chainsaw, or take it to my chainsaw tent and block it out with my die grinder and my chainsaw and whatever. So this is basically, I'm just going to basically use this for surface carving. Right? They're easy to use the wrenches. I could change out this. I could do it in a minute, change it out, put something else in, but there's no need. So that's the only thing I was a little bit disappointed with, but I've come to realize it makes sense not to have the quick release because I'm sure it would be super hard on these collets. So I don't know what I can do now besides do some carving. I do have a piece of U wood here. U wood, this is bone dry. It's a super hard wood. Well, not super hard, but it's pretty hard. Okay, and then I got uh, a piece of cottonwood bark here too to show you guys it carving on both. We'll carve a wood spirit on this one and um, we'll just carve some stuff on this one. Don't care how long this video is because I got to talk about the giveaway too. I think there's been like probably $1,500 raised. So, and the other people that are donating um, that have contributed towards prizes for that giveaway. It's going to be awesome. Also, I forgot to show you the main unit itself. So it's got that rubber thing over the, you can go left or right. So left is for the three, 330,000, right is for the 50,000. Okay, left, right, it's got a little rubber sleeve over it. There's your on off switch on the side. It does have, uh, you can use foot your foot pedal or just use your hand to use this. Um, it does have a forward and a reverse. All right, all right. Okay, so before the camera goes to the overhead, I'll just show you that the system will be sitting off to the side. I'll be starting to use this handpiece with my foot pedal. I'm going to use this quarter inch burr. This is a cut saw. It's just a silver one, the normal, the normal cut saw burr. And uh, I'm going to start removing all this white stuff on the outside of this bark. Like this is bark from a tree, cottonwood bark I got here. And I act like this white stuff's the bark for bark on side of the bark it's harder than the wood itself so I'm going to run around and clean it up where I think it needs to be cleaned up with this and I'll probably run it at about 22 uh what would that be 22,000 rpms okay so it'll be like this okay so we're all set up here three two one ignite the fan it's my dust collector table
That's running at 22,000 RPMs. Let's turn it up to 30 for a second. See, I'm going to give it lots of pressure for a second, see if I can stall it and see what happens. I don't think, I think if this stalls, there's no reset, so you don't have to wait. It will just slow down. And that's a big bonus for me too, because when I used to use my other RAM, I'd push down too hard because I'm too heavy hands. There's no doubt about it right so this stalls for a second but then resets right away watch I'll do it again but I don't want to run this at 30,000 rpms I'm going to take it down to 22 again okay so since I got this bigger hand piece this is the piece of you wood you wood's a pretty hard wood very dense That's running at 22,000. Let's crank it up to 30. Pedal to the metal. Let's get rid of this square edge on this piece here. See how it's kind of square there? Let's round it out. I stalled it there on purpose. So yeah, this sucker's got lots of power and it's super hard to stall out. You know, Cutsol doesn't really make any smaller burrs than this, or do they? So I might have to get some different, get some, uh, other types of burrs too that are a bit smaller because this might be burr might be a little bit big for this handpiece I don't think so though because what I'm going to be using this handpiece for is just to be rounding things off like once again if you guys got a better see how this edge is square let's do this So there you go, not so square anymore, is it? That's what I'm gonna be using this hand piece for, is just to, you know, clean things up. Like, see this notch right here? Let's clean it up. Notch be gone. So yeah, I like it. It's gonna be great. You're gonna see me using it in lots of my videos. Okay, so let's get back to the cottonwood. Um, I'll draw a wood spirit on here, and then we'll, um, this is the, I think it's the beep, what is this one? This one is the BP, I think it's the 50 RPM. I got the 1 8 cut saw. I'm not going to be using the extreme burrs in this either. When I want to carve super fast and crazy, like, don't care, I'll, u I'll still use my Dremel, but when I want to be more precise, I'll be using this. You know, and also, like, even if I did have the Cutsol Extreme Flame Burr in here, turn my fan off. Even if I did have the Cutsol Extreme Flame Burr in this bit, what I'm not going to do because it will just grab the wood and you'll chaffer. And I still got to get used to this handpiece. You don't leave and chaffer with this burr in here. But even if I had the Extreme Flame Burr in here, let's see if I can find one. Okay. There's the Extreme. You know, this runs so much faster than a Dremel, it won't leave so much cut marks on the wood because it runs so much faster and smoother, right? It's just like, um, let me get it um, converted over here to this. Got to hit a few buttons, figure it out, and um, I'll be back. Okay, so it's turned on. This is 50,000 RPMs. I'll put it by the microphone too so you guys can hear how loud it is. It's not loud at all. It's super quiet. Watch. 
doesn't even move on your hand. It's so smooth. Like it stopped. Let's start it. Crank it. I'll put it by the microphone. It's so quiet. And it's like floating in a cloud when you're carving with it. So I'm going to draw a wood spirit on here and we'll start carving. And then um, we'll talk about this a bit. We'll run it live. And then I'm going to put my dust mask on and we'll do a voiceover. And we'll talk about the, the chip-in giveaway. Okay, so I got the wood spirit drawn on. I got this set to 35,000 RPMs foot pedal. Okay, so let's do the, let's take the forehead in first. I'm not going to run the fan yet so you guys can actually hear it. This thing's got tons of torque. You guys can see there how I'm carving the wood. You can even barely hear this thing running. Sometimes when I'm carving, I still got my foot pedal, hand on the foot on the foot pedal I forget this thing's even running it's so quiet okay let's try and stall it stalled starts back right up starts right back back up so that's a huge bonus because I couldn't stand when the last one stalled but it's there for a purpose and I'd have to wait a couple seconds for it to refire up right okay so let's hit the forehead let's crank it up to 50 I'm not going to be running this at 50 until I get better with the tool then I probably will run it at 50,000 RPMs so like come on so let's take this forehead back oh yeah <laughs> look at that Yeah, I love it. And you guys know I give my true opinions on tools when I'm carving, so let's cut the eyebrows in. See a chopper there? See a chopper? Because I'm pushing too hard, that's what happens, right? Oh yes, you know. So I also um I also bought this because well, just carve Rob and Ben's studio on the lake. They have that. Which one do they have? Um. Well, they have the same kind. Of, theirs is like forty-five or fifty thousand RPMs. Um, and they got their ex, theirs is expensive too. I think theirs is like eight hundred or thousand dollars. Oh, they have the Oz Plus. I think it's the same one that Stennett Sticks use. Um, and just carve Rob just talks so highly about once you start getting into the better um, brushless hand pieces and how much how much it's we'll always use our dremels we'll always use our fordums but how much better this is and how much torque they actually really have and um so thanks just Carrie rob and studio on the lake okay so um let's just try this let's just try this you would with this bit again here what am i going to do here let's see um let's um um let's just cut some beard hairs on the mustache just for uh shits and giggles and then i'm going to turn the fan on we'll do a voiceover and finish up that other wood spirit i'm not i don't even need to pull out the slim hand piece and use that um on this video i'm just going to be using these big two up the one eighth and the quarter inch this you woods uh poisonous so I, I don't want to be running it too long i want to wear my dust mask and with the fan but i just want to show you guys So very capable of carving hardwood for all you hardwood carvers out there. You can see how clean the cuts are because it spins so fast. Now I'm going to get my uh, dusk mask on. I'm going to clean up this mask and we'll do a voiceover and finish off this wood spirit here on this piece of cottonwood bark. Hope you're doing good uh, Ben's studio on the lake. So everybody knows that 
Um, this time I didn't ask Ben to donate anything for the challenge because it's more for for me. And we're going to be having a challenge um, a challenge competition coming up pretty soon. Ben's going to have a big part of that too. So, um, <sighs> okay. So this carver. Um, I was originally looking at the Oz Plus that uh, Ben and Rob just carved. Rob use because they well they they talk about them. They don't stall. My biggest issue was about it stalling, and I thought it was time for me to upgrade to a better micro carver. And uh, Peter Blair um, pointed this one out to me, and as soon as I seen it, I was like, oh frick! Sold. Yeah, I gotta have it. Jordan holds the quarter inch bird. Jordy's gotta have it. Um, so here's Peter Blair's donation. This is his contour sander. He, so he's going to donate one of those. He'll ship it, I believe, worldwide. And he, um, I believe he's donating two of his uh, mandrel sanders, quarter inch or one eighth. You guys pick your take your pick. Here's Just Carve Rob's one that he's donating, a Sasquatch. He still has got to paint the eyes. And you flip it over, it's two different faces. This is Sticks and Stones, a piece of that first gross West, Western Red Eye Cedar I sent them. I didn't think I'd have to talk so fast. Kevin's donating that. Um, this is Bark, Angel King in Alaska is donating, and she'll ship it within USA. If it's outside USA, we'll have to talk about um, if you want to pay the extra money to ship it outside of there. And um, here is the birdhouse. Mr. Chris Hill would like to donate and chip in for the um, challenge. So, like aren't we spoiled and um so you're gonna hear this the the machine running in a second here here's some of my carvings that i'm chipping and i've already showed them there's the uh fairy house gnome home thing i did that was a struggle for sure and here's all the pieces so far there's six there right now this is um i called it the donkey bumhole wood it's arbutus burl arbutus wood it's a little tea light holder um, that comes from Vancouver Island, Galliano Island. My buddy Stu brought me. I have some more pieces of it. It's a little tea light thing. I think it's cute. Here's a fantasy piece I just quickly carved and show you guys that you can paint underneath your, your finish because I put some poly shade over top of it. Here's that Arbutus, uh, the U Wood Eagle that I did that I got from the island. Here's an incense backflow incense burner. See the cones up there? It's coming out his nose. You can make him come out of the knives. The eyes and there's a bucket down there for it to catch in below. There's the backflow incense burner cone. And I will take credit for um, the backflow incense burner with spirit faces coming out of the faces. Um, and here's a, what's that, older? Oh no, cherry wood. Um, uh, that's a root piece I found. It's got a little rock friend in there with his big hand down there. So that's it. So that's going to be it for the voiceover. Um, the rest of the, I'm going to show you guys some live carving and so you can hear the tool. You can see, hear how sound fast it sounds. It sounds like I'm speeding up the video, but no, this is actually how fast I carve. And, um, yeah, so that's how, this is how the sound actually, the tool sounds. All right. Bye. So when I was doing the voiceover, I don't know what this took me 15 minutes to do, 10 minutes, I'm not too sure, but I figured I might as well show the, um, this is a slim piece with the 330 second hand piece. I got to make sure this mic's working. Yep, mic's working. Um, I got some of these little 330 second bits a few years back. They're called Panthers or something. They're just little things. So... Um, you, Sabretooth also makes the 330 second bits. You can use the Sabretooth. The, the small cuts all does not make 330 second bits. So I don't know how much I will be using this hand piece. I think it, I think you can get a 1 8 collet for this. This is the slim, right? So let's show you the regular one that has the 1 8 bit. So here's the regular. This one's the regular. This one's the slim. Okay, I'll show you it in my hand. So I think you do, you can get. Um, one eighth collets for this, but I requested they put a three thirty second um, collet for this for the slim one because this is more of a. I, they think 
I believe they said this is more of a workhorse than this one, and this one should be used for detail carving. So I said, okay, well, perfect then, because I won't put one eighth bits in there and I won't blow it up because I'll do heavy carving with it. So I got this little kind of saw cutter thing on here, and I was just going to quickly cut in some eyebrows. It's um, set at 30, 34,000 RPMs. So yeah, that cuts the eyebrows in, like the eyebrow hairs in, no problem. I think just carve Rob's used some of these to do some uh, eyebrows, one of these little saw cutters. Let's put the, um, let's just keep running live here. Let's put the um, saber tooth burr in. I'm a cut saw affiliate. So I always use cut saws and cut saws are my, are my favorite burrs 100%. But I do use saber tooth burrs too. Okay, so this is a smaller 332nd. This is yellow, so I don't know if this one's that aggressive. Okay, so we got it in there, put it in, pull it out a little bit, just like I say on the Dremels. How do you lock this thing up? Give it a click. There you go, okay? So what can we do here? Um, let me just do some, I'm going to carve out some shapes of eyes. I'm going to run it, I'm going to run paddle to the metal wall. I'm going to run it at 42,000 RPMs. So, you guys can see how smooth and quiet it is. I'm going to round these balls off now. This microphone does have noise reduction, so... But you guys can just see for yourself. You guys can hear it. It's so quiet and it's so smooth. I think I'll finish these. Uh, I think I'll finish these eyes off with um, my special just carve Rob knife. But there you go. So you know this is super. Like, come on, man. I don't know. I'm super happy, and I wouldn't have this right now. I would eventually get it. But I would not have this now if all you guys didn't chip in this whole system. So you guys know when I'm using this system on my videos, I'm not going to say every video that you guys help help me buy it. But you guys know in your heart that if you chipped in for the um, challenge, that um, you helped me buy this whole all these things here. So it just means means a lot to me, and it's, this is a special tool to me. Just like my 500i um, still chainsaw. That's I did a chip in for that a few years ago, and um, you know you guys basically bought bought me that saw almost so thanks again everybody i'm gonna keep saying it don't care okay so that's gonna be it for for this one everybody so do i love this machine yes absolutely i do love it i'm gonna be using it all the time and it's thank you everybody like i said i wouldn't have this right now if it wasn't for you the what's the positives well the positives are it's they're so light the hand pieces they're so quiet they carve so much faster um the only thing that i was kind of a little bit disappointed but it makes sense is that the quarter inch hand pieces aren't just like quick release but you guys will see when i'm using this you guys will probably see this exact same burr in there every single time i use that quarter inch hand piece because i don't switch out my fordham hand pieces too much not hand pieces but the bits okay so here's just a quick wood spirit i tried to use carves rife knife to carve the eyes still not good at knife carving so i switched to a little chinese cutter to do the eyes and there's a message on the back for, of this one too thank you there i signed it with a j there thank you jordy johnson 2023 because people are still cheap chipping in i need to i said i'll just keep on making more carving so i'm going to have this carving as the giveaway too so that's seven of my carvings and I talked about how many others. So seven of my carvings I need to ship. And I forgot to say, um, each person will get a carving fusion sticker too that wins a carving. Hold on, I got to get the stickers. So yeah, here's the carving fusion stickers with one of my spud. I, I actually designed these ones myself. But um, yeah, so if you win a carving, you'll win a sticker too. Um, don't don I have to leave the donations of, like people can do donate and chip in. I, I don't call it donating, I call it chipping. Until, um, 
the giveaway is going to be like March 11th or something. So it's coming up pretty soon, but some people still don't have the money and they want, I have to leave it open to, to give people the chance. It's not like I need any more money for this because I don't, but I have to leave it open. So my PayPal will be listed below. If you want to send, send some money to be entered to win a carving and a prize or a box of bark or whatever it is we got going. And another thing too, um, or you can leave a super thanks here too. Cause if you leave a super thanks, you I see it and then I enter you in. Um, you can also, I'm not saying this is a hundred percent, but maybe, you know, like if you want to buy one of these things or like a, a Ram product, they know who I am now and stuff like that. We've chatted. You might be able to send them a message. Just look up their Ram, Ram. Uh, what is it? Um, come on. Ram products, Inc. There, take a screenshot of that right there. I'll leave it up for five seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one. You could call them or email them. They might give you a price break on this too. So just tell them that you're a good old friend of uh, your old friend, a good old heavy hands over there at Carbon Fusion. They might give you a little bit of a price break. So, anyways, that's it, everybody. Thanks again. I can't thank you enough. And you're gonna see this tool used lots in my videos. I gotta make a shelf for it here somewhere because I don't want to keep on taking it off my table, putting it on the table. This is heavy. This is not a light unit, right? Like it's solid. Oh, okay, but also I got to say I'm leaving this wood spirit raw like I'm not putting any finish or anything on it because um, there's a hole in the back there to hang it, put a nail in the wall and hang it. But um, I'm just going to, this is the first wood spirit that I carved with the round one. So I'm going to leave it raw just like this. That's it. Bye.